Hi there you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this eye look right here. For this look, I used this palette right here. This is the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. I pretty much use every single shade in this palette except this one here at the bottom, but I did try to use as many shades as I could possibly use for this look. And yeah, this is the look that I came up with, so I hope you guys like it. So if you guys want to know how I did this blue eyeshadow look using the ColourPop Blue Moon palette, then just make sure to keep watching the rest of this video. Alright, so first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I've been really liking using this concealer as my eyeshadow base, and since it does dry down pretty matte, I find that I don't need to set it, and also by not setting it, the eyeshadows that I put on top are going to look way more vibrant. For the look that I'm going to be showing you guys today, I am going to be using the ColourPop Blue Moon Palette, and the first shade that I'm going to be taking from this palette is called Moonlight. This is a matte baby blue shade and I'm going to start off by patting this color first in my crease. Again, since I didn't set my eyeshadow base, I want to work really slowly by building up this color. I don't want to go in with too much product at first because then it's just going to make it a lot harder to blend out the eyeshadow. And then the next shade that I'm going to be taking is called Starry Eyed. This is a matte sky blue shade and this is just going to be going in my crease. So I'm just blending that color in back and forth in my crease. The next shade that I'm going to be taking is called Dabba D. This is a matte periwinkle blue. This color is going to be going in the outer corners of the eyes. That's where I want the most color to be is in the outer corner but whatever is kind of left on my brush from blending this color out I am going to kind of bring it in towards the middle of the crease as well I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and blend out any harsh lines as well then I'm going to take this shade here at the bottom which is called fine china this is a matte cobalt blue and the shade is very bright and very intense so I was like very impressed with that as you could see my face when I first put it on I was like wow this is intense um, but this color is going to be focused on the outer corners of the eyes I'm just taking a blending brush and blending out any harsh lines and then going back in and adding more color to deepen up the look and then going back in again with my blending brush and blending it out again Next, I'm going to be taking this shade here at the bottom, which is called Clued In. This is a matte navy shade, and I'm just using this to deepen up this look and make it a little bit more intense. So I'm just going to take the same blending brush that I was using earlier, and I'm going to blend out that color just to make sure that it doesn't look too harsh. I am going to go back in with the same e.l.f. concealer, and I'm going to create like a half cut crease. I do have slightly hooded eyelids, so by doing this, the color that I put on my lids isn't going to transfer up in my crease. For my lid color, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is called Tide Pool. It is a shimmery teal color, and I'm going to be applying this about halfway on my eyelids. I don't want to bring this in all the way to the inner part of my eyelids because I will add another color in a second. I quickly go back into the shade Clued In, that matte navy shade. I felt like I just needed to make this look a little bit deeper, so I just took a little bit more of that color and just put that in the outer corners. Now for the inner part of my lids, I'm going to take the shade called Billie Jean. This is one of my favorite shades in this palette. It is a silvery blue color. And again, I'm putting this in the inner part of my eyelid. I want this look to fade from light to dark, so that's why it's going to be a little bit lighter in the inner part of my eyelid. So now that I have one eye done, I'm going to do the other eye off camera, and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I just added some eyeliner and lashes. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to prime my face using the ColourPop All Star Primer. I've been testing out this primer for a little bit now, but I'm still not sure how I feel about it yet. For my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I wear mine in the shade F12. I'm just going to dot this foundation all over my skin and then I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a foundation review on this foundation. I will leave the link to that video down in the description below, so make sure to check that out after you're done watching this video. 
I'm going to quickly clean up my brows using the NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium. I love this pencil so much. It is so creamy and it blends out so easily. When I want my brows to be on point and looking nice and clean, this is what I like using to clean up my brows. I am using my Real Techniques concealer brush to blend out this product. Since the shade Medium is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, I make sure to really, really work on blending it into the skin because it is a little bit lighter. I will take my makeup sponge again and just further blend this product into the skin. I really want it to melt into the skin. So next, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the Peach Corrector shade just to cover up some of the darkness that I have under my eyes from my dark circles. For my concealer, I'm going to take my Collab Makeup No Flaws Liquid Concealer. I use the shade Honey Almond. I'm currently obsessed with this concealer. It is so, so good. It blends out so easily and it is really, really lightweight. I would say this concealer is like a medium to full coverage and I really like this shade Honey Almond because it covers my under eye circles really, really well and it also adds some brightness under the eyes too, which I'm a big fan of. Next, I'm going to set my concealer using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just pressing in that powder into my skin just to make sure that the concealer will stay in place and that it will last all day as well. Now moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take the e.l.f. X Jacosa Blue Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much. It is so pigmented and so creamy. I'm going to apply this to my waterline as well as kind of a little bit on the lower lash line as well and before this eyeliner sets I'm going to smudge it out with a small smudger brush then I'm gonna go back into the Colourpop blue moon palette and take this shade here which is called fine china that matte cobalt blue shade and I'm gonna smudge this on top of the blue eyeliner and since we added that blue eyeliner first it's gonna make that blue really stand out and make it more intense and vibrant next I'm gonna go and take the shade starry eyed and I'm gonna start smudging that out on the lower lash line I'm going to add a little bit of this shade clued in, that matte navy shade, and I'm going to smudge this on the outer corners of my lower lash line. I don't want to make it too dark, but I do want to add just a little bit of darkness under my eyes. And next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer again on this angled brush, and I'm going to add that first on my inner corners, and then I'm going to put another color on top, and it's going to make it more intense. And I'm gonna take this shade here called Lumi. This is like a iridescent light blue shade. And this is what is gonna go in the inner corners as my inner corner highlight. And since I put that concealer down first, it's gonna make the eyeshadow really pop. And then I'm gonna finish off this look by adding one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and I use the waterproof one. Now that the eyes are done, let's move back to the face. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder and I'm going to set my foundation. And the shade that I use in this powder is a golden tan. And to apply the powder, I'm just using my BH Powder Brush. For my bronzer, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Master Bronze Palette and I'm gonna take the third shade right there, which is my favorite bronzer shade. And this shade does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but once you start blending it on into the skin, you don't even notice it. And I'm just applying this bronzer with my Beauty Creations powder brush. And then I'm gonna take the shade next to it, which is a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna use that as my contour powder. And that shade is one of my favorite shades to contour with and to contour my face I'm just using my BH Angled Contour Brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of my setting powder and use that to clean up the contour to make it nice and sharp. Next I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the middle. This is one of my favorite blushes and I'm just applying that with my Ulta Blush Brush. To highlight my face, I'm going to take the LA Girl Highlighter in the shade 80 Watt and I'm going to start off by highlighting first my nose and then I'm going to highlight my cheekbones as well. I'm just applying this with my BH Highlighting Brush and then I'm going to take another highlighter here in a second. I'm going to take the Urban Decay and Chris and Leanne Highlighter and I'm just going to use the lightest shade in this highlighter to highlight the highest points of my cheekbones. 
and then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just really melt that highlighter into the skin I'm going to quickly fill in some of the sparse areas in my brows using the Collab Makeup Shape and Shade Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. And then to finish off the brows, I'm going to apply my ColourPop Brow Boss Brow Gel. This is one of my favorite brow gels to use. It makes my brows look so good and it also makes them last all day. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow really quick and then I'm going to line my lips with my ColourPop and I love Sarai Lip Liner in Curvy. And for my lipstick, I'm just applying the Collab Makeup Matte Addiction Liquid Lip Color in the shade Nude Vibes. Okay, so here we have the look now complete. Now you guys could definitely leave it like this and I think it looks really cute and it's definitely a very wearable eyeshadow look. But at the very last minute of filming this video, I decided to add some glitter. So I'm just showing you guys that here. This is the Atomic Makeup Disco Jelly in the tunnel and I'm just adding the little silver stars under my eyes and I thought it would just look cute and tie in with the whole blue moon palette. But again, this step is totally optional. And now here we have the final look complete with the glitter. I think it looks really cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!